Hey there, internet friends. I am Danielle Pierce, creator and of Property Preservation Mastery. Just consider me your nationwide property preservation expert and of course, founder of Real Estate Profit Lab. Those of you who don't already know, I'm actually a 14-year full-time real estate entrepreneur. That's what I've been doing since I've been laid off. I was laid off in April 2007. Mom to three baby geniuses, as I call them. Uh, homeschooler, world schooler. Uh, what else? That's, that's, that's the gist of it. So as always, if you're brand new, you know, please come in, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, make sure that you're subscribed and that your notifications are on and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. So now we've got that out of the way, just doing a quick video to let you guys know that we are introducing a new product over the next 14 days. Of course, Property Preservation Mastery, still the flagship program, still brings in the most revenue, still has the most success stories. We'll be continuing that, you know, indefinitely. But we decided that it might be time to go ahead and get out some of this information I have that has sustained me in the early years when I just, when I first started my um, career as an entrepreneur. And I put quotation marks because, yeah, it was kind of rough. I didn't really know what I was doing, didn't have a support system, didn't have resources, just like many of you probably right now today, where you're, you're out there and you, and you, you want to be an entrepreneur and you call yourself one, but you don't really quite know, you know what that entails or how your day-to-day -day should look like. So if that sounds like you, make sure that you pay attention to the rest of this video. All right, so our new product, it's called Side Hustle Heavy. Uh, hashtag side hustle heavy is what we call it. And again, I already mentioned why we're doing it because again, it's time to get out all this information I've used to, to create hundreds to thousands of dollars every single month for many years when I desperately needed it um, in the beginning. And so uh, it's pretty useful information. Put it out in an ebook, just kind of really pretty randomly, to be honest. And the ebook ended up doing over $30,000 in sales. And I was like, huh, we should probably do more of this. Um, probably help more people, get the word out more. Well, we didn't promote the ebook, didn't do any social media ads. It was just literally word of mouth. And so I was like, huh, what would happen if we really, you know, put this information out there for the general public? So here we are. So Side Hustle Heavy is going to be for folks who are looking to create an extra four-figure per four-figure income stream. So basically a thousand dollars or more every single month consistently recession proof um you know uh hustles and you're looking to do that you know just to bring in extra income so it could be you want to start a property preservation business which i hope that you will come back and see us for that if not it could be that you're looking to invest in i don't know tax lien certificates at some point maybe you're looking to go to a tax deed sale perhaps you're just looking to pay the gas bill every month or you have private school tuition it doesn't matter different strokes for different folks people need money for different reasons it doesn't matter i don't know about you a thousand dollars per month is still a pretty solid income stream and so since i know how to do that uh, pretty consistently, and I've done it for so many years. This is why we introduced Side Hustle Heavy. All right, so again, if you're just tuning in, I am Danielle Pierce. Please like, subscribe, share the video, do all the good stuff. Tell a friend, tell somebody who is always asking you for money or is looking for ways to make more money. Please invite them into the room. All right, so speaking of needing money, let me tell you. <sighs> Let me tell you about the month where I earned a grand total of $342. Now, I've shared this story before, briefly, uh, in a couple of videos. Um, you know, as, as I get inspired or things pop into my head, I'll, I'll mention it. But I want to really talk about what that month felt like, <laughs> how it happened, and how I've been able to go from that $342 month, which was just over 10 years ago, into having a million dollar year last year, right? So I got to do a quick screen share. So let's hope that this technology holds up. It's been doing so wonderfully well. So let's hope that it continues. So as you can see here, this is my lovely little Dropbox folder. And I have tracked my income by month and by, I guess, by category every single year since 2009. Well, not actually probably 2008. Whenever I got my, my first mentor, 
who happened to be Guy Williams out of Chicago. For those of you from the South Side, specifically Hyde Park, you remember those billboards in Hyde Park right on the corner of 53rd and Lake Park. So Guy was my first mentor. A uh, very brilliant guy, pretty abrasive, <laughs> not the friendliest dude. However, you know, he's rich and he knew what he was talking about. So this is one of his uh, suggestions. And so I did it. So here's my income from 2009. So as you can see here, I sold used cars, right? Did pretty well, January, February, March, and April. Lost money in May, and I guess I just gave up after that. <laughs> uh, I learned how to sell used cars for my brother. I'm talking about that in a separate video, right? But, um, you know, it was actually pretty interesting, brand new. Um, Definitely ran into some interesting folks selling these used cars. Nevertheless, it worked. It served its purpose. All right. So that total for the year, 5,321 bucks. All right, cool. Titanium. So this is a company that doesn't exist anymore. There is another company like this, and I'm going to include that in our, you know, in our side hustle heavy program. So we'll be doing a detailed monthly training every single month where I'm going to walk through a, one specific side hustle that everybody can kind of, you know, get on board with for that month. And so I'm going to include that new company in those trainings for our, for our members. But Titanium, this was a company for folks who were delinquent on their mortgage. And our job as a Titanium Solutions representative, sounds so fancy, right? You get paid like $50 to go do this work. Um, our job was to go and talk to these people and say, hey, um, looks like you're behind on your mortgage. We can help you with a um, loan modification. So Titanium had a plug at the banks where they would have pre-approved loan modifications and all you had to do was go meet with these people to sign them. Very easy work because who didn't want a loan modification if you're already delinquent and it's already pre-approved. And if you have never been through the loan modification process, I have, let me tell you, it can be very challenging depending upon the bank that you are uh, working with and, um, and how much time you have. All right, so Titanium, 4,270 bucks for the year. So cool. So now we add just under 10 grand. Then there's a company called Aquin. Aquin, of course, has been around for forever and a day. And Aquin was, I did broker price opinions for them. Um, and I made 950 bucks doing that. Cool. All right. So now we're over the $10,000 mark. And this is the first quarter of 2009. And what else do we have? Some evaluation, another BPO company, Clear Capital, another BPO company, loan modifications, uh, so this was another bright idea that I had where I <laughs> was like, hmm, I see what Titanium is doing. I've done my own loan modification for where I live. I should probably um, start a business doing loan modifications. So I did a couple of them for people and it worked, of course, but a whole bunch of work, whole bunch of headache, whole bunch of extra stress. I was like, yeah, I'm going to leave this to Titanium and other companies like that. But when, I, when I'm, I'm sharing this right now and what comes to mind for me is this. The mistake that many folks make when starting a business is that they think that it's going to be an easy process to get customers and they're going to make a bunch of money real fast. So that's what I thought when I called myself doing loan modifications. I was like, huh, I know how to do this. I should start a business. <laughs> and I see that so much on social media. So I don't comment as often on those posts because people don't be trying to hear that shit when you tell them telling them that. People are just like, oh, if you say anything contrary, then it's like you're an automatic hater. So you know what? I could be a hater or I could be someone who just happens to have been there, done that, you know, but whatever. I just keep it moving. But nevertheless, just because you're good at something does not mean you should start a business doing that thing. So of course, knowing me, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Same thing with credit repair. I was like, oh, I fixed my credit before. I could start a business doing credit repair. Easy. So I did that for two people. And I was like, ah, that's not, that ain't it, right? Jesus did not down across for me to be begging these people to fix their credit, right? So then, um, of course, I've had my real estate license. I've always had that. Well, not always. I got that in, was it 06 or 07? My, my memory is getting foggier the older I get now. 41 years old, so bear with me. But I'm pretty sure I was licensed in, I was licensed by 07 when I was laid off for sure. So I had my real estate license and I did $10,800 in closings. You know, decent, you know, not, not great, right? But, you know, not better than nothing. 
Um, so moving on. But then, you know, look at some of these closings, right? $2,088, $980. This house must have cost like 30,000 bucks for, for my commission to have been 980. And then you got to split that. Like, I'm pretty sure this number here is before the broker split because back then I had a broker. I had to, you know, you got you to break the broker off. So whatever. Moving on. I also signed up with five links. For those of you who remember five links, I think it's still around or if it is, maybe it's rebranded. I'm not for sure. But I made a grand total of $422.75 doing five links. And I'm pretty sure I paid 500 bucks to sign up. So lost money there. Shout out to me for doing that. <laughs> First American, that was more BPOs. BPOs are broker price opinions. I'm going to talk about that in another video. Again, I'm going live every day at seven o'clock central standard time for the next, well, through February the 28th, which is the end of our launch period for our side hustle heavy membership. Um, I'm going to talk about the details in just a second, but really it is going to be the best chance for you to get in um, and start to involve yourself in the community and figure out how to ways to make extra money while still moving towards your goals without quitting your job or doing anything drastic like starting a whole business, right? So moving on. And then this miscellaneous column, I'm pretty sure, what, what, what was this? What was this miscellaneous? Oh, so an insurance payout. And then I referred somebody to a company and I got a referral fee. So one fee was a thousand, one fee was 300 bucks. So I was like, all right, cool. And then the LaSalle network, which you can see here. Wait, can you see that? Where's my Zoom thing in a way? The LaSalle network. This is a temp agency. I'm pretty sure this still exists. And I was doing um, audit work in a conference room in a factory in Indiana. I'll never forget. It was in, <laughs> was it Hammond, I think? For those of you from Chicago, so when you're going into Indiana, um, I don't know what city it is, but there's just a bunch of like factories and bridges. I don't know if it's oil, whatever they're doing over there. Anyway, it just looks, it looks scary at night. So I worked there for a total of three weeks. So 1281.56 was my pay for two weeks of working at the LaSalle Network, for the LaSalle Network, I should say. And 531 was my last week. And then, honey, I was done. <laughs> I was like... I was like, it's, it's such an interesting dynamic looking back because of course I didn't spend a lot. I didn't have the luxury of spending time like self-analyzing and, you know, going into myself and, and trying to figure out everything back then. Because of course you're, you're in a hustle, you're trying to get paid. But man, the idea that I'm going to both suck as an entrepreneur and then also suck as an employee. And I came to that realization when I was working for Little Sound Network. And I was just like, man, this shit here, <laughs> this is not, this is not for me. Like I, I felt like I was dying in that conference room with those people. I think it was like four of the people there. And it was just, just sit there at your computer, uh, you know, make small talk and, you know, do audit work and it was just horrendous so that was like another flashback to my days in corporate and i was just like yeah this won't work all these businesses that i have in my head that i'm trying to do doesn't work so then what do i do somebody type what do i do <laughs> oh man and then as you can see here this was the month i made 342 dollars right here so this was july 2009 the only money that came in was from titanium some evaluation as two bpos five links i think i don't know what this money was for but i know i counted it for a grand total of 342 dollars so this right here is was really a transformational moment of course i was you know too dumb and too broke to do it back then um, and then, of course, you see the grand total for the year was $30,938.42. So just imagine, <laughs> imagine doing, working at a temp agency, doing BPO, so that's two things, five links, that's three things, selling real estate, that's four things, credit repair, uh, fifth thing, loan mods is the sixth thing, and then flipping used cars, so seven different things to only make $30,000. That is what I did. So 
So when I tell you to that the key to being, you know, quote unquote successful, whatever way you define it, for me, it's just bringing in the money that you want to make and having a financial freedom to kind of move around the way you want to. The key to doing that is going to be to focus on one thing because I could have focused on any one of these things and probably made $30,000. <laughs> Could have focused on selling cars. Could have stayed at the LaSalle Network. No, actually, I couldn't have done that because I wouldn't have made it. I probably would have been fired from a temp job. I think them fools are paying me, was it 12 or $15 an hour? It was something terrible. I was just like, this is not, mm -mm, this ain't it. Whatever happens in this entrepreneur thing, I know for sure I, I can't make it in accounting and audit. Um, it was just so boring and I just didn't care. And I just felt like it was a waste of my, my, my skill set. And that is not to say, let me make this clear. That is not to say for the internet police and for those of people who are still working nine to fives, that's not to say that you should feel that way because you may not feel that way. You may be getting paid. You may love your job. You may be doing great at your job. You may be um, moving up rapidly within the company. And if that is the case and that's what you want to do and you're happy, then that is exactly what you should be doing. I'm just saying for moi, I knew that that job was not going to be it. But the funny thing is, I was kind of doing pretty badly at everything else as well. And the, and the takeaway that I can give you from that at this stage in the game now is that I, hmm, I didn't focus, obviously, didn't really have the self-confidence and belief that I could make it as an entrepreneur, and I had no support system. So when you have all those three things at the same time, kind of a trifecta effect, and yeah, that, this is the, that was the end result. So it took me um, still a couple more years after that before I was able to replace my corporate salary, which at the time was 62,700 or 62,500, uh, somewhere around there, 62,000 bucks a year. So it still took me a couple more years after 2009 to replace that. And then it, it wasn't until about 2012 that I hit, or going into 2013, that I finally hit $100,000 for the year. Um, so it took me quite a few years. So why am I telling you all that? Because some of y'all in the same situation, <laughs> and I know it because we see the emails and the inboxes and the comments and, and um, you know, all the different, you know, ways that people reach out to, to kind of communicate that. And I would say that that is really the reason why we created Side Hustle Heavy. So I don't think it's necessary to always start your own business. I think a lot of us are in love with the idea of kind of like they say people are in love with love. I think some people are in love with the idea of being a business owner because it's trendy and they think it's cool and they just love to say like my LLC and it's like, oh yeah, okay, you got an LLC, cool. You know, congratulations to you. Um, but then without really knowing like what does that even mean? Like why did I start this business? Is this business even necessary? Am I, am I fulfilling a need in the marketplace? So sometimes you don't have to go the route of starting a business or quitting your job. Sometimes you just need to take baby steps, which is why our ebook is called Baby Steps of Financial Freedom. That's also included in Side Hustle Heavy as well. So let's talk about what's included. So you get membership into Side Hustle Heavy. It's a monthly subscription um, going forward. But for right now, we have this amazing, amazing launch deal. Um, which you have to check out. You just visit SideHustleHeavy.com to find out more about that. But trust me, if you don't register before February 28th, um, you're going to be sad and you're going to miss out. And you're going to pay more money and you're going to like, can I get that discount? And we're going to be like, no, you can't. <laughs> so SideHustleHeavy.com to make that happen. So it's a membership, a monthly detailed training hosted by me every single month. I'll do it live in the Facebook group. And what else? Get a copy of the ebook, Baby Steps of Financial Freedom, which includes over, you know, 30 plus legitimate side hustles, many of which I've done, many of which I have receipts for, which I'll be showing you all so graciously um, so that you can review them at your leisure. And also the community. So I personally think that the community is going to be the biggest help for many people because a lot of y'all just like to see folks that are in the same stage as you, making moves at the same time as you are, kind of getting over that finish line to, to motivate you. And so that's where the community comes into play at. So it is going to be, I'm really expecting some great outcomes. So for our Property Preservation Master Program, we have over 300 five-star reviews. So trying to get to 400 ain't happened yet, you know, 
folks is be, be tripping about leaving a good review, but quick to leave some negative, right? Um, so we'll get there this year, obviously. So PPM, Property Preservation Master, we still have over 300 five-star reviews. I'm expecting, you know, at least that amount from Side Hustle Heavy as well, because there's nothing like being able to make money, right? Pay a bill or pay multiple bills and not have anybody looking over your shoulder, you calling you, emailing you, texting you, um, reporting to a location. There's nothing like being able to do that. Um, without all that extra stuff, right? You just, you just want to do the work and get paid, kind of create your own schedule, and that's it. Um, that's been my lifestyle for the last 14 years. I do not have an alarm clock. Well, I don't think anybody does now, but I don't wake up to an alarm I have, unless I'm catching a plane. Um, the ch my children have never woken up to an alarm. Um, they're homeschooled, so they wake up whenever they wake up. They still got to go to sleep though, because I can't be, you know, I'll be trying to be like the, the free parent, and I am a lot of the times, but some days I'll be like, y'all got to, I don't care what you do, you don't have to go to sleep, but you're going to be quiet. How about that, right? <laughs> so they wake up whenever they wake up, uh, no alarm clocks, no like boss, no job, no punching in, no, no asking for permission to go anywhere asking for permission for a day off, asking for permission to take a vacation. Like I have not had that experience in so many years and I love it. Now I'm not saying you should quit your job and be like, oh, I want to have that financially free, you know, lifestyle too. Because as you can see from my screen share that I just did, July of 2009, I made 342 bucks. And for most people, myself included, that's probably going to be a uh, a breaking point where you take your ass back to corporate America, right? <laughs> Nevertheless, I actually did try to go back to corporate America. I got to find my rejection letters for my job. That's the only thing that I don't have in my receipt vault is when I applied for these jobs and they wouldn't hire me for the very first time. And it was just like, huh, you're not going to hire me. What? <laughs> and one of them I remember in particular was the payday loan store. Uh, obviously it's a payday loan company and they didn't hire me. And I just knew I had that job. It was like 65,000. I was like, Ooh, yes, I need this job. Cause I only made $342 this last month. I got to get back in corporate. I got to get my life together. The interview went great. I just knew I had this damn job. And then I get that letter in the mail. That's what they did back then. Right. And it was like, we decided to pursue other candidates. I was like, well, I'll be damned. Ain't that about, <laughs> ain't that about, uh, you know what I was about to say. So anyway, there you have it. So I wanted to share this story because I think it's important that people kind of see the behind the scenes um, as opposed to seeing the, the glamour and the, the great wins of today. Uh, it has been a very long time coming. So this is why I'm always unbothered, not pressed, not tripping, not easily um, antagonized or, or feeling guilty about any success that I have now because I know what I did in the very beginning. I know how long it took. I know how many hours it took, how many years it took. I know about all the side hustles I did. I know about all the time that I spent doing broker price opinions and doing insurance inspections and property inspections and doing inspections for um, cars that... Uh, had been damaged by like hailstorms and tornadoes and stuff. And um, I, I really did my first, hit my first six figures from a side hustle and that happened to be broker price opinions. We'll talk more in detail about that in another video because again, I'll be here seven o'clock Central Standard Time every day through February the 28th while we're talking about side hustle heavy because I personally feel like this. If you are considering five links, your travel business. Um, I think that's YTB. I think that's still around. If it's not, forgive me. If you're considering doing TLC, if you're considering doing any like network marketing company, um, you need to for show, for show, be a part of Side Hustle Heavy because I can help you get those outcomes um, with less stress, right? With no selling. So that's the thing about these recession proof side hustles that we'll be talking about. Like you ain't got to sell nothing. You ain't got to talk to nobody. 
Um, and, and for me, like, that's really important for me. <laughs> I've realized that. So I like to be social when I like to be social, but if I don't have to be, or if I don't feel like it, I don't necessarily want to have to be. And so, you know, all the things that I've done, like I didn't have to sell anything. I didn't have to build no team. I didn't have no boss. All I had was something to do, a specific task and a deadline. And I was like, cool, say less. Like, this is how I work. So if you're that type of person, you're going to love this, right? So what I need for you to do is head to sidehustleheavy.com and get in on our launch offer. Because again, after February 28th, if you're watching this video later, that offer is obviously not going to be available. So it's going to be a great value, right? But it'll be three times more than what you could pay right now. So why pay three times more when you could pay three times less? All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share the video, tell a friend, right? Don't inbox me. <laughs> I know people go do it anyway, but tell a friend, share the video link and have them make that decision for themselves because um, it is going to be such an epic community. And I really would hope that you'd be a part of it. All right. So again, that's sidehustleheavy.com. And tomorrow I'll be here same time, same place, wherever you're watching, seven o'clock central standard time. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in, sending you love, light, peace, blessings, grace, and clarity. Bye-bye.